Hey guys, it's Mike here from Search Scientists, and I'm excited today to just talk about the math behind a perfect bid. To establish the perfect bid, you need these things, current bid, current ROI, target ROI. You'll use those to calculate a bid modifier, and then you'll get your new bid. So it works like this. Let's say we're currently bidding $1 cost per click, and our current ROI is 2, and you want it to be 4. So we're going to use that to get our bid modifier. And to get our bid modifier, all we do is put our current ROI over our target ROI, minus 1. And we have a minus 0.5, and I just get the percent there, so minus 50% bid modifier. And to get that, we just need to modify this $1 bid by 50%. So that's simple enough. $1 bid plus that modified just like that and we are given our new bid of 50 cents and this is of course a very simple example because we want to double our ROI so of course all we need to do is cut our costs in half simple enough so this is for our ROI if we get clicks at this rate half as much We'll still make the same because our conversion rates should remain constant. Our cost is going to be half of what it was, and we're going to get hit our target ROI. Pretty cool stuff. Now let's talk about CPA on the other hand. Here, we need to just change a few things. So let's calculate CPA. So instead of current ROI, it's going to be current CPA, and our target CPA it's going to be different. So obviously, you wouldn't want to go to a more expensive CPA. You'd want your leads to come in at a cheaper rate, not a more expensive one. So let's change this. Let's say our current CPA is, let's, let's use real numbers. So let's say it's 858, and our target CPA, we want it to just be $5. Now, you may notice something that Wait a second, it's telling me to, inc uh, to increase my bids by 72%. That's because when you calculate ROI, getting higher is better. And when you calculate CPA, getting lower is better. So we need to change our equation. So here, when you're calculating per lead, and you want your cost per lead to be as small as possible, you put your target CPA over your current CPA, minus 1. Now all of a sudden, we have a brand new bid. We know that we need to decrease our cost by 42%, giving us a new bid of 0.58, 58 cents, which is exactly what we want. So to recap, when you're calculating for ROI, you want to put your current ROI on top of your target ROI, just like I did here. I put current over target minus one, because when you calculate ROI, higher is better. When you do it for CPA, you want your CPA, you want your cost per lead to be as low as possible. So a lower number is better. So for this, we put our target CPA on top over our current CPA, minus one, giving us our bid modifier. And in case you're curious what I did in this last uh, column, really simple, you just want to take your bid and add that by whatever the modifier is telling you to. So here, we needed to add it to a negative 50%, giving us a nice new bid that's lower to hit that high, C, uh, high ROI. Over here, new bid, getting that new bid exactly what we need. So I hope this helps. You really understand how to get the perfect bid.